so hello guys welcome to my new video in this video i'm gonna show you how to install terror tile in google cloud and this is the most requested video okay because people were having some issues with the ips and all but i'm gonna tell you everything in detail and how to open ports and everything so stay tuned and don't miss any part because if you miss anything you will be in trouble and we are gonna use the domain in this installation because we it is way easier so i'm gonna use my domain and it's linked to cloud player and i have a video how to do you know how to add it like your domain into cloudflare so we're gonna create the vm okay so first thing first i'm gonna rename the vm okay as coconut and i'm gonna come down here do it standard and i'm gonna do this machine because i'm just doing for the demonstration purpose so i don't want a very high-end machine so i just use the default locations because they're cheaper okay so we need to come here and we need to select our operating system we're going to use ubuntu okay so ubuntu this version is fine and select i'm gonna i change the storage to 20 gb and we're gonna come down now okay we need to come down and go to advanced setting okay from advanced se setting to your management tab okay management tab and you need to paste this script in it okay so we need to paste it here and then we could we could create the machine now okay this is how it looks our overview of it okay and we are good to go and i'm gonna create the machine now don't forget to add the script here i'll give everything in the description box below so our machine is getting created so this can take time depending on the availability of the machine so don't need to worry about it because it's not gonna take that much long so now i'm gonna teach you how to change the root password and set a root password so that we can log in into the machine by using termius or putty whatever you like because i'm gonna use termius because i feel it's more easy and comfortable to use that so here you can see our machine is ready so i'm just gonna hit the ssh button here so it's gonna connect in the meantime we can just copy the ip here okay go to our domain and point the domain towards the ip so i'm gonna use panel dot my domain name coconut place dot xyz so i'm gonna paste the ip here this is for the panel and i'm gonna make one more for my wing so it will be wings dot this ip and turn off the proxy for both because we are not using proxy in this so yes we should be connected and yes we are connected so we need to go in sudo user that is root so minus s and we are in root user as you can see here okay and do cd after that to come out of any folders you are in and paste this command for update and upgrades okay and then we are gonna open the ports in the firewall okay so we're just gonna paste this okay we open the ports now i'm gonna enable the ports so that it takes you know action so why okay so we open the firewall now i'm gonna change the password of the root okay this is the command so i'm gonna put the password just enter the password it will not show you the password because linux is like that it doesn't show you the password so i entered my password and it was successfully updated that's good now we need to edit a file so i'm gonna go in this file location here press enter come down okay remove port 
hashtag in front of port okay you can press the delete key so that it can delete the other you know in front character of the cursor so come down delete this one delete the private password and we gonna do it is yes okay go down and search for password authentication it should be nearby it's not that far and here it is down here as you can see then you can press yes here and to save the file you need to hit ctrl o enter ctrl x okay we have saved the file and we need to copy the next command okay so now i'm gonna copy it again so paste this is the command which you need to run so that it restarts the service and the service is restarted so i'm gonna use terminus to connect to the server so i'm gonna copy the ip of the server this is this one and paste label is google server you can name it anything pa root is the name username and but the password is the password we set for the root so and yeah we can just connect to it now okay so we should be in in the machine so i think i entered the wrong password so i'm gonna enter it again and we are in so keep in mind that you enter the correct password and you remember it so we are in in the machine okay so first thing first we need to install the panel now so we'll do the steps for the installation of the panel okay so here's the panel so we know we're gonna use the number two option for the installation okay we, because we're gonna use both the wing and the panel so number two okay i'm gonna just enter this okay i want the same name for database yes randomly generate so you need to carefully select your time zone and see all the capital letters in it so i'm gonna use asia slash kolkata because i'm from india so asia then slash kolkata okay so there was an error in it because of the spelling asia so i'm gonna enter it again this is what i said before and here is the spelling the right spelling okay i'm gonna put my email this is my email and this is the email address for my admin account which is the first account which will be created in the panel so you need to remember these credentials the username i will keep as coconut first name is obviously coconut second name is coconut gamer and the password is anything you would like to keep and the panel is panel dot sorry dot your domain name which is there this is the domain so i'm just gonna copy it and paste it there uh firewall we already opened ports so we didn't need to open the ports again Yes, we need HTTPS for SSL certificate. And now it will install all the dependencies after we do the yes here. So yes, we did it. And yes again. By the time this gets installed, we are going to open the ports in the panel too. So in the panel, we need to go in here okay and then come on this three dots here or three lines come down to vpc network come down to firewall you can delete all the things from here or just add 
a new one so i'm gonna add a new fire rule okay just because i've added here so i can just delete them to show you guys okay i'm gonna add again so outgoing so we're gonna go ingress select ingress here okay so because it's getting deleted it's saying that it's in use okay so i'm just gonna put one here okay for that to work so i'm gonna use all instances okay i selected ingress you need to select the destination so 0, .0, .0, .0, .0 slash 0 okay and allow all and then create okay once you have created this you need to create for incoming so we're gonna select incoming logs are off ingress i'll get target all instances ipv4 0, .0, .0, slash 0 okay we're not gonna use this we were not gonna use this allow all enter it worked here for incoming so now as you can see the panel is half installed you need to put yes here okay it, it will install everything now all the dependencies it needs okay so we need to press a here so we have successfully installed the panel part here okay so we can open our panel in the browser now panel dot coconut please dot xyz and it should open the panel for us so this is my username which i entered before during the setup and my password okay you can close this tab it's not needed anymore okay so we're gonna go in admin area locations i'm just gonna add a random location called india so i n nodes okay you can add anything as node 01 okay so it's a public node so i'm gonna use the snowman because we added it here as you can see it's wings dot coconutplace.com or dot xyz whatever your domain is so my domain is xyz so i'm going to use this as my vps is a small vps so i'm going to use a 7 gb okay some some amount of ram you need to give for your machine also so accordingly you adjust okay so zero i gave 20 gb to it so i'm going to give only 15000 mb for the panel because it's in mb and 15000 means 15 gb so we're gonna create okay so we just need to go back in the panel okay and then we need to go to compute engine and vms after going to instances we need to copy the internal ip and paste it here okay then go back copy the external ip and paste it here we normally don't do this but in this case we need to do it because we are using google cloud so i'm gonna open the range of port 25565 and 25600 okay this is to open the range okay you can individually open the ports for example this one okay submit so we have successfully created ports now we need to come to configuration page and wait here okay and now we need to do why here to install the wing so now the wing will be installed we don't need firewall because we already did the firewall stuff we do we need a database no we don't need a database we'll create our own afterwards i have a detailed video on my channel you can check it out 
do we need SSL? Yes, we need SSL on this. And it's asking for the wing domain. So it's wings dot coconut place dot x y z. Put your domain correctly here. Yeah? If you don't put your domain, it will create some issues later on. So press Y. Okay, it's asking you the email address. So you can put any of your email address, but the one I used is my personal email address for which I use for only the videos. So this is my email address for the video purpose. And yes, continue installation. This shouldn't take that much of long. So now we need to come in the panel, create or generate token. You need to copy this all. Then I'm going to press copy, then OK. And then I'm going to wait. And once this is done, I'm going to paste that line which we copied. So now we need to paste that line which we copied earlier. It's done. So now we need to copy this line and then paste it. System CTL start wings and we need to go to the panel, click on nodes. And if the node is green heart, then it means the panel is ready and it's working perfectly. So I'm just gonna create a server because many people have doubts how to create server and some of the doubts are the server don't run. It's because you didn't install the node properly. So when I installed, if you have noticed, I did this in allegations. So I added the internal IP first, then the external IP and then the ports. If your server doesn't work. So I'm just going to create a server for now. So Minecraft. Okay. Sorry. Server. So I'm going to create Minecraft and this will be coconut. Okay. So I'm going to scroll down. I'm going to give it 4 GB of RAM zero zero means unlimited so i'm gonna create a paper server or you can create a vanilla server so i'll just create a vanilla server now and then hit create and keep in mind that all the ports which you need to open okay you need to open them in your machine now so how you do it is by ufw allow 25565 okay this is the port i allowed for this server so every time you create a server you need to specify the port in the machine because in the google cloud we have already opened all ports so we have no issues with it so i'm gonna hit start so it's still installing. So we just give it some time so that it installs. Okay, so I just started the server and as you can see, the server is starting now. Okay, it's creating all the files. It's creating all the servers. Whatever it needs, the all the files it needs. So this was it for this video and I'm gonna teach more stuff in next videos which are gonna come out and stay safe and tata bye bye and your server is ready almost ready and it will create a world and all the other stuff and then we are good to go thank you very much and i'm gonna end this video i just waited for this to get over and as you can see it's working so yep thank you very much bye bye